Hey guys! Happy February? <laughs> it's we're month, one month into the new year, kind of. You know, time just goes. It just keeps on going. Uh, and I am here today to share with you some of my favorite things in the past month. Now, uh, you may or may not know that I spent the majority of the last month at the family home in Utah with the family. Family was there for most of the time that Don and I were there. We stayed a little longer at the end because I went to a conference in Salt Lake City, which is driving distance from our home. It's only about an hour's drive out there. Um, so it just made sense this day instead of paying to fly back and forth. Um, called Alt Summit or Altitude Summit. I did a whole video and post on that. Um, I will link the post below. The video is embedded in it, so you can find it there if you're interested about my experience with my first ever conference, and it's a bloggers conference if you wanted to know. So basically we were in Utah most of the month, and that was my favorite thing about, about the month, to be honest, was being in Utah, first of all, love being there. I love our home there. I love where the home is. It's just so beautiful. The scenery is just like, I just feel like I'm in like a postcard when I'm there. And second of all, I really loved being with the family. We really were there um, like all together. A lot of us were there for a lot of the time and it was really nice to just be together. And you may have noticed I didn't post quite as much. Well, that's because I was prioritizing time spent with my family uh, over the holidays in the last month. But I'm back now. So let's get into the favorites because as usual, I have like a thousand and eight things to show you. Um, first of all, <laughs> If you watched my, um, oh actually, yeah, I think I wore this in my What's in My Stocking video uh, that I filmed on Christmas. This was a Christmas present from Dawn. It is called a hoodie footie. It's basically like a onesie for adults. I haven't had one piece pajamas since I was like, I wanna say eight or nine was the last time I had one piece pajamas, which I used to love, by the way. I might have even been younger than that. I really don't remember, but, these are my size that has my name on it. He had it monogrammed. I just lived in this the past month. Every night after dinner, um, the family, we got together and watched movie after dinner. Every night after dinner, I put this on and it was like snuggle city. It's got a hood, hence the hoodie footie, and it's got the feet, the feet zip off and it's got cuffed um, thumb, a thumb hole and a cuffed uh, wrist and the zip goes all the way down. It's got kangaroo pockets. I love it. In fact, I love it so much and I wore it so much that Don thought I, I really needed another one. It was my birthday this past week and thank you to everybody who sent birthday wishes through social media to me. I really appreciate it. Um, Don got me the same thing in a buddy suit. Now I've only had this a couple of days, but I'm already like in love with it. First of all, the best part of it are the bunny ears. It's the same, it's like this fleece material, which is nice. Um, I, I just, it's just amazing, I love this. It's got little like pink pom-poms. The belly is pink, it still is the same, you know, thing with the kangaroo pockets. It's got little paws on it, and there's even a little tail on the back, and I like that they made it like just a patch and not like an actual tail, so it's comfortable to sit on. Anyway, I love that. I just had to share those. They're so comfortable. And um, I asked him about that, and he's, it's from this company called Pajamagram, or Pajamagram, depending on how you say it. Um, and he said the bunny one was like on pretty big discount, like on sale. So I, I'm pretty sure that means they're probably discontinuing it, but if I can find it, I will link it in my blog post for you guys. Um, so those were my favorite kind of snuggly outfits, and I just love them. The other thing that I've been really enjoying clothing wise this past month, the clothing wise this past month has been this beautiful sweater from Anthropology. I adore this sweater. I had a gift certificate to Anthropology from Christmas and I bought some things, um, which you'll actually see some of the things I bought. I'm doing a post on my blog about what I wore to that conference I was talking about because I've gotten some questions to share. This was one of the things that I bought and wore to the conference and have worn several times since I bought it other than the conference and I love it. I've really only had it for about a month or a little bit less than that, but I love it. It is a beautiful cashmere tunic length sweater from Anthropology. I don't know what the brand is off the top of my head. 
I got this on such a good sale. I think it was marked down from like well over $300 to just over 100 and then I got an additional 40% off or something. I don't, it was a ridiculous sale and I'm so happy they had it. It was the only one in the store and they had it and it fits me and it's beautiful and I love it and I, it's my favorite thing. Um, so those were my favorite clothing and accessory items. Well, just clothing items, I guess. I'm getting into the accessories now. As for accessories, I usually show you guys what bag I'm carrying. Still carrying my Henry Bendel mini jet setter backpack such a thing. I know I owe you guys a bag buzz post on this. That will be up on my blog soon. I just kind of forgot to share. I apologize. Uh, but the other bag I wanted to share, and again, this I'm just going to briefly show this because I'm going to be doing a post on this, another post on my blog. This is a newer bag that I bought for myself um, to be sort of my work slash conference bag. Um, you know, I don't go to work every day. I work from my house, but I wanted something that was stylish and pulled together looking, but also pretty flexible, lightweight, easy to travel with. Didn't have a lot going on in terms of pattern. I have a beautiful Louis Vuitton never full tote that I've had for many years that I use and love all the time. I don't often carry it as an everyday bag, but I often carry it when I need more than what will fit in my everyday purse. Um, so I use it probably about one to two times a week, and I love that. But I wanted something that wasn't quite as flashy, something a little bit more understated for the kind of conference thing or if I you know, ever, ever need to go to a meeting or anything. So after doing a bunch of research on different totes, I settled on this one by Kuyana. I think that's how you pronounce it, spelled C-U-Y-A-N-A. -A. Um, they have a beautiful website website and beautiful goods um, that they sell and um, I really like their philosophy. This is the bag that I wore at the conference and I loved it. And like I said, I'm going to go through this in depth in my blog post and show you guys how I packed it, what I felt I really needed for the conference, how it worked for me. Sadly, I got a pen stain on the inside of it, but it's all right. I do love this bag. It's beautiful. It's, I think it's just called the regular tote or something. It's in the camel color and I got it monogrammed with my initials J, I had a star put in between an R, and I love it. So I will go into that in more detail. But those, those were pretty much my favorite accessories. For makeup, you guys know I love beauty, oh, there goes my phone. It's a ringing. I like how I just sit here and I never answer it. Do you guys answer your, like we stopped answering our landline like years ago because um, it's always, like junk calls. It's never anybody important. I just screen, I let it go right to voicemail. Um, I really should just have the ringer like down to one ring or something. And I, here I am just like blabbering through it. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll just, we'll just let it run its course. Oh, it's done. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, you guys know I love beauty stuff. So I had to share a couple of my favorites. Now I know I'm like pretty sure I didn't actually check but I'm like 95% sure. I talked about the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette maybe in the fall as one of my favorite makeup items. Well, I love it. I tend to go in like through kind of phases with makeup, um, in and out of things, and I got back in an in cycle with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I really wanna go check out the other one. They have like a new one that's out now. Too Faced actually saw one of my holiday gift guides that I did on Organized Like Jen, where I talked about their little carousel gift set as one of my top picks. And they were very grateful that I wanted to share their product, even though, you know, I did it just, I bought it because I thought it was cool and that's why I shared it. Um, so they asked if they could send me a little thank you package. I was like, well, anybody can send me anything they want to my P.O. box. It's not really a P.O. box, it's like a box at a UPS store. But they did, they sent me the chocolate bar palette, which I already have and have used and loved, and a couple of other things which I haven't really gotten into yet, but I'm just starting to use and I really like so far. Um, so I thought, why not bring my original chocolate bar palette, and they, I must have reformulated it because the new one's a bit thinner. I thought, why not bring my older one out and leave at the Utah house because I like leaving some makeup out there so I don't have to bring big palettes and stuff every time I go. Um, I don't leave like any really like liquidy products out there like mascara or foundation because they can dry up and go bad and it's extremely dry there. And we're there, you know only seasonally, um, but uh, so I have this one. Long story short, now I have two of these, one here, one there. I use it all month, I 
fell back in love with it. It is just so nice. Now this is my newer one that lives at home so it doesn't look like I've been using it that much but my other one that lives now at, at the Utah house, you can see it's really used and loved. I really kind of stick to this side of the palette when I want just like a regular face and then I use this side just for little accents, little highlights. Um, but it smells like chocolate, it's hard to beat that and I really, I just, I like it. What can I say, I like it a lot. Um, also for makeup, I tried a new mascara this month and this is kind of like a love-hate relationship. It's the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. I got the waterproof formula, and this is in black brown, which is one of my favorite kind of mascara eyeliner shades. It's like almost black, but it's more brown. Um, I just think it gives a softer, more natural look for me. And I really like this, despite the fact that it's a wetter formula, and I usually don't like water wet formula mascaras because I have very fine lashes, and they tend to clump really easily. But for some reason, I actually like this like 98% of the time that I use it. I think it has a really nice effect. It's not clumpy. 2% of the time that I use it, I'm like, I hate this. But it's really so, so infrequently that I feel that way that I had to include it in my favorites. Because it is an interesting formula. Um, I tend to like CoverGirl mascaras quite a bit. So I've been enjoying that for the most part. And then uh, one other beauty item, I always have to talk about lip products because you guys know I'm a lip product junkie. Um, it's funny that I say that because I really like neutral lip products, but I like them a lot. Uh, so this I actually got in a little birthday gift set for being a VIB member at Sephora. Um, it's, it came with a little, I don't know what this is. What do they call this? A satin lip pencil by NARS. A little NARS gift set with two satin lip pencils. This one and then one that's red. I think it's called Cruella. I remember that because it was like Cruella de Vil. Um, and then a black eyeliner. I haven't used those two things, but I really like this. I've been using it pretty much since I got it um, exclusively. It's in, now I'm not gonna say this right, but we'll try. Rakujian is the, is the, um, name. It's just a little sample. It's actually, I've used quite a bit of it um, and it's a nice, it's a nice size product, but it's just a beautiful kind of, what can I say? Neutral lip color. It's a nice pink. It's got a nice shine to it. It has nice lasting power. And for a like pencil style one, I find it very moisturizing, whereas usually I don't find them that moisturizing. So I really like this. And when this goes away, I might have to buy it in full size. Um, I actually got a second one of those gift sets because Don, my husband, got me another Sephora gift card for my birthday. He got me one for my for Christmas too. Um, and they gave him the set to give to me, even though I already have it. So now I have two of those, so it's going to take me a little while to get through them. But that's fun. Always fun. And last beauty product. I haven't really been wearing nail polish that month much over the last couple of months and I think it's just a combination of it was the holidays and I was just really you know busy and nail polish doesn't seem to work with me during over the holidays because I'm doing lots of things with my hands and then I just kind of got out of the habit and forgot but I did paint my nails a couple of times this past month and this was definitely my favorite shade I picked this up at um Walgreens on a whim actually this is a Revlon E this is E. This is a Revlon shade in number 495 Sultry. It is a beautiful purpley blue color. It is just a stunner on the nail and I feel like it polished really nice and had really nice staying power and it's just gorgeous. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Real pretty. All right, so that's kind of it for the personal accessories and beauty items. Now for home stuff. So there was one candle that I happened upon at Whole Foods out in the Whole Foods near us in Utah when we were there by Patty Wax and I remembered seeing these candles before because I have one that got sent to me in a pop sugar must have box maybe over the summer. Really beautiful candle in a beautiful glass jar and I feel like it's an ocean salt kind of scent and I love that. Um, it's very seasonal so I put it away for summer until next summer. Well when I was at Whole Foods out there I saw they were selling these same candles and they're by a brand called Patty Wax and they had them all on display so I picked up a little one in a little purple jar because I thought it was so pretty and it smelled so beautiful. It was uh, lavender and thyme and it I burned it every time. I, I do yoga pretty much every day and I burned it during my practice and it just it had such a great throw for such a little candle. It was just so beautiful in that little glass jar. Um, and I just, I really loved that. Um, so I wanted to share that. And the other household item, this is kind of weird to share, but I don't, I don't know, maybe not. I feel like it. 
Uh, cleaning spray. I've been using the Mrs. Myers products for years. One of my favorite of hers is the countertop spray, and my favorite is the lemon verbena scent. Right, this is a new one. Right now I have like this much left of the rosemary scent that I've been using for the past couple of months. It's not my favorite, but I bought it because it was on sale, and so I'm using it. The lemon verbena is definitely my favorite. I really like this um, countertop spray. It doesn't have, um, has naturally just derived ingredients in it. It's not as um, chemically as other sprays, but I feel like it still gets a good clean. The granite countertops love it. I use this both at home and at our home in Utah. When, at the home in Utah, we have granite countertops um, and then also like a wood block board, and it works beautifully on both of those. It's like a it's like a wood block countertop. Um, and to go along with that, my favorite kitchen gloves. I've talked about these somewhere before, but these are the best. These are the Casabella Clean Premium Water Stop gloves. These are not cheap. These are like okay, they're seven dollars at the Container Store, but they last me anywhere from I want to say four to six months before one of them usually gets a hole in the finger and it's usually my right hand because I'm right hand dominant. But to me, kitchen gloves are essential all year round, but especially in the winter because I tend to get very dry. My skin gets very dry and my hands will start to crack and bleed and it's terrible. And I find that if I keep gloves on when I'm doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen or bathroom or whatever I'm cleaning religiously, that saves my hands so much. And I wanted to share these because I think they're just the nicest gloves. They come in sizes. I wear a size small, but I think they come small, medium, large. They are amazing, and that spray is one of my favorites. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to incorporate some more home goods in my favorites as well. And then, of course, I wanted to share with you some of my media favorites. Um, I read one book. I didn't do much reading. Like I said, we've been hanging out with the family a lot and watching a lot of movies, and I'll get back to that in a minute, but I did just finish this book. This is Lauren Oliver's Rooms. Um, Lauren Oliver is the author of that series, um, Delirium. It's the, she's the author of the Delirium series, um, which are young adult kind of dystopian society fiction books. This is her first adult novel, novel I believe. Don't quote me on that. I think it's her first. And it's an interesting book. It's kind of about, it's really about family dynamics and sort of a a fractured family and them coming back together. Um, so it has a really good, um, strong plot line, but I just couldn't get into it. It was a like the first half of the book, I was like, wah, wah. <laughs> the second half of the book was worth trudging through the first half, in my opinion. Now, these are just my opinions. I don't know anything. I'm not like a critic or anything. Um, and I did enjoy it. It was a very quick, very easy read. Um, but it wasn't like my favorite book of all time, but I did enjoy it and I found it, thought it was interesting to read something by a very popular um, young adult author um, making something cater towards, you know, adult fiction instead. So I thought that was interesting. I also finished an audiobook. I like to listen to audiobooks when I'm knitting. Um, and the one I was listening to was Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham. This is on my Audible app. Love Audible, by the way. Just so easy. Um, I really liked it. A lot of people when I first said I was going to be reading that were like, oh, you won't like that. I really liked it. Um, I felt it was, she's very young, um, but she's got a lot of interesting experiences and she's very funny, but in a very kind of sarcastic way. Um, so it was definitely a little different from the other female comedian writer um, autobiographies I've read, which seems to be like the niche I like to listen to on audiobooks. Um, in fact, right now I'm listening to audio, uh, Amy Poehler's Yes Please, and I love it because these women, they narrate their own stories, which I think is awesome. But, uh, and I'm loving that, but I'll get back to that when I finish it probably next month. Um, anyway, I just, uh, I really enjoyed it. It was different and very interesting and also felt like I was getting a young, like it was a younger perspective. Um, so that was kind of interesting too. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, she has kind of a flat voice, so I felt it did get feel a little bit like monotonous sometimes, even though the content was very interesting. Her, her like voice is very kind of, I don't want to say flat because that sounds terrible, but you know what I mean? It's kind of monotone. So uh, I think that would be my only criticism of it if she could have injected a little bit more um, variance into her voice, but it's okay. I still really enjoyed it and I would recommend it. 
Now for TV and movies, we really haven't watched television at all, um, but we've been watching movies like crazy. Winter is definitely movie time. And we've watched a lot of movies, but my favorite movies that we watched were the Pirates movies. There's four Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean or however you say it. People say it different ways. Uh, movies, I say Caribbean, I'm not sure. I love Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. He is, that is just like his role. And I really enjoy all four of these movies. I hadn't seen them for a long time. And usually when it's like this kind of series where it's so many movies, there's like, you know, it's just not excited about the ones past the first one. I actually really like the fourth one, probably the best out of all of them. Um, even though Orlando Bloom isn't in it and I like him a lot in the first three movies. Um, awesome, love those, love. And then for music, you guys, I know I talked about the Pentatonix last month and their Christmas album. I think it's like, that's Christmas to me and that's how I'd first become introduced to them. And I love their YouTube channel. Well, because of that love that I discovered I had for them, I downloaded their three albums that are available right now on iTunes and obsessed. I'm like hands down obsessed with these people. It's an acapella group. There's five of them, one percussionist, one bass percussionist, and then, you know, three, there's, um, I don't know, there's, you know, three other people singing as well. And it, they are incredibly talented. And two of my favorite songs are actually on the, um, PTX is the name of their albums, volume two, um, set and it is Run To You and Daft Punk. And I'm going to put links to both of their um, videos on YouTube with those songs down below and go watch them or really just listen to them. That's all you really need. I mean, the videos are cool, but I really, their sound is, is what carries. And it's five people singing. Just keep that in mind. It's five people singing. Like there's no band or background music. They create it all. It's just, it's incredible. <sighs> I'm still going. Okay, YouTube favorite. I have been subscribed to Nikki Philippi for a very, very long time, for years and years. Um, and I kind of go in and out of phases with watching people. I've definitely been in an in phase watching her. I've really enjoyed her How to Be Happy January series. In fact, I think I've, I've watched it every year. This has got to be my favorite one that she's done. She's just very kind of, you know, she's really down to earth, relatable, cheery, optimistic, but also thoughtful. Um, and she likes to explore kind of deeper, I don't know why I did this, but you know, deeper issues on YouTube that a lot of people are more afraid to talk about for fear of, you know, kind of getting bashed or whatever. And she just goes for it and I applaud her for that. And I will link her channel down below. She is amazing. Go show her some love and support for her bravery, for putting herself out there, and for being unique and true to herself. And and just, and not changing that just because she's on camera. So, I mean, I don't know her personally, but that's the feeling I get from her videos. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it's the real her and she makes a real connection and I love that. So I would definitely recommend checking out that series. Last but not least, my favorite food tasty treats. I just burped and that was very appropriately timed burp. Um, these gelato pops by Talenti are the bomb.com, like for real. Um, I discovered Talenti, I think it was over the summer we were having a little dinner party and I bought some of the like little tubs of gelato from Whole Foods, just like their little pints or whatever. And it was so good and we were like, ooh, this is really good. Well, they sometime in the last six months came out, at least that I noticed, they came out with these pops, which are basically like ice cream pops made with gelato covered in really nice chocolate, like dark chocolate or milk chocolate. I think they're both dark chocolate actually. They're so good. These are my two favorite flavors. They come in other flavors, but I am honestly not sure which. Mediterranean mint, probably my absolute favorite, and the sea salt caramel. They are so good. And you'd think something like this would be like, I don't know, three, 400 calories. They're 200 calories each. Now, they're 200 calories of basically like totally not really good for you, like very little nutritional value, fattening, whatever. But if you're gonna have a treat, keeping it under 200 calories is kind of a good thing. And these feel so much, like there's so much more than that. They're so delicious. I get them at Whole Foods. I don't know where else you can buy them, but I highly recommend tasting them if you see them and get a chance to try them. 
yum, you'll be hooked. Or maybe don't try them because they're kind of addictive. Um, and that is everything for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing and hearing about my January favorites. I know I had a lot to share, but um, I just, I love talking about these kinds of things. I'd love to know what some of your favorite things from the last month were, personal or home goods or media or whatever you want to share. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I am having a little giveaway. I'll be giving away two of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes, so head on over to my coordinating blog post, which I will also link below if you'd like to enter to um, enter that giveaway. It's, you know, open internationally and anybody can really enter as long as you have permission if you're under the age of 18 to run for one week, the usual stuff. All of the info is on the blog post anyway. And links and pictures uh, if you guys are interested in more information about any of these particular products. Like I said, I hope to have some bag buzzes up for you. One featuring my Jet Center Jet Setter Mini Backpack from Henry Bendel and also my Kuyana Toad, like what I carry around at conferences. Also a post about kind of my outfits and stuff for the conference since that was requested. And I will see you guys real soon. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're all well. Take care. Bye, you guys. Oh, who is this sweet? Who is this sweet baby princess? Oh, do you know mommy's talking to you? Do you know? I don't want to get like lipstick on you. Come here. Oh, I know. How rude. Hi. I feel like you haven't said hello in a long time. Oh, we have nap face. This is a class A nap face. There we go. Mommy fixed it. Did you do you guys know that Winnie has a has a blog? It's it's a Tumblr. Um, but I post on it pretty regularly, at least when I'm not taking like months off at a time. But I'm back on an up on an on time so you can if you want more pictures and to learn more about my little girl Winnie who is a Shih Tzu who is a real a real dog I know she doesn't look real sometimes but she is um, you can check it out so WinnieTheZoo.com did we just plug you we plugged your blog yes I am a puppy with a blog I am not happy about this I would like to go back to my napping please okay all right you are the, she's just the cutest thing ever. I know. I love you, baby. All right, let's take some product shots. <laughs>